Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to start with some terms related to classification. Okay, but before that I want to get a, I want to give you a flashback of what we have read in last two videos. Okay, starting with the first about the defining characteristics that is defining properties. properties okay in that we have uh, uh, learned that growth and reproduction are not the defining categories of uh, a living organism whereas metabolism metabolism and consciousness and also one more is there that is cellular organization these are the defining characteristics of defining properties of living organism okay in the next video we have uh, discussed about the uh, rules of nomenclature which are given by icbn and iczn okay international council of botanical nomenclature and international council of zoological nomenclature in that we have read the certain rules in which the binomial binomial system is there binomial nomenclature system is there and the trinomial system trinomial nomenclature okay uh, to get on uh, to get these two topics in detail please watch the last videos now today we are going to start with the uh, certain terms that are related to classification okay so what are these uh, uh, you know what are these terms uh, the first one starting with the taxonomy then the systematics and the last one is the taxonomical categories okay so it's an interesting topic please maintain the mm, continuity in this chapter which is most necessary thing to do okay and before that i want to remind you that please do subscribe share okay and like the video and if you have any doubt please drop in to the comment section okay so let's get started now no distraction now so terms related are taxonomy okay then systematics and then taxonomic category categories okay these three terms we are going to discuss today so starting with taxonomy that what do you mean by taxonomy first and before that i want to tell you that uh, i want to tell you that this term is given by given by scientist named can dole okay and what what is the meaning and what is taxonomy so let me explain in simple terms it's it is a branch it is a branch of science which deals with the 
identification deals with the identification nomenclature and classification of organism okay so what is the meaning of taxonomy it's a branch of science theek matlab branch hai science ki jo ki deal karti hai with the identification means if we saw a organism we need to identify that okay and then we'll name that is name nomenclature and then we'll classify the organism in which category category that we are going to discuss further so in which category the organism fits okay so these three things are done in taxonomy the word is given by candor clear till now i guess everything is clear next comes the systematic the term systematics is given by linnaeus linnaeus in his book in his book titled systema naturae okay this is a book written by linnaeus and he used this term systematics for the first time in his book called systema naturae the first time the word is being used in his book is systema naturae and linnaeus and let me change the color first linnaeus linnaeus is our wait a second linnaeus jo hai ye hamare father of taxonomy hai so linnaeus is the father of taxonomy okay remember that this is the important point who is the father of taxonomy is the name is linnaeus and what is the name of the book he wrote and the name is systema naturae okay remember these two points these are necessary frequently asked in one number question okay so again let me change the color now so what is systematics okay till now we have learned that the name is given by linnaeus the term is given by linnaeus okay so what is uh, basically systematics systematics in normal terms it means taxonomy and evolutionary relationship relationship of all the organism in a category okay but means systematic is nothing but the taxonomy itself and taxonomy as we have discussed it is the identification it is the identification nomenclature classification clear of organisms so in this in the systematics we have add up one more point that is evolutionary relationship means the, we should know the ancestors of the organism the like uh, we are humans our ancestors are our ancestors are ancient humans ancient men okay and our uh, and uh, uh, and unke bhi ancestors kaun se honge that is that will relate to the mon uh, monkeys gorillas okay so the characters is be evolutionary relationship we are finding the evolutionary relationship after thousand of years what are what um, what are the relationship of our uh, future 
okay uh, future organisms what are the relationship with us those organisms how those orga organisms will relate to us so these are the re evolutionary relationship between the organisms fine so next point is taxonomic category okay taxonomic category is basically it means the level in general terms it is a level that organism in a particular particular level okay particular level or more technically if i speak it is known as taxon okay technically or whatever the term is given so the level level means the uh, an organism belongs to a particular level in a classification uh, zone okay so like uh, will you uh, learn it you will uh, understand it in the next few points that i'm going to mention so the categories given by linnaeus linnaeus gave five categories to classify the organisms accordingly five categories and those five categories are first is genus then species then class then order and last but not the least variety okay variety of uh, later on these categories are changed and few other categories are added and those are those are kingdom phylum and family okay among these five these three are also added okay but now when we arrange these categories in a proper systematic manner we say that we have arranged them in a hierarchy okay so hierarchy that i'm talking about is taxonomical hierarchy okay that is taxonomical hierarchy if i arrange these uh, categories in a particular manner then it is called as hierarchy arranging uh, these categories in a particular order is called as hierarchy and or we can typically say that it is a taxonomical hierarchy okay so in the in this taxonomical hierarchy one category is being eliminated in the uh, in uh, current uh, taxonomical hierarchy that is variety variety is being eliminated it is, or we can say that it is dropped in the newly formed hierarchy so the hierarchy we are considering is the taxonomical hierarchy that we are considering taxonomical hierarchy that we are considering in that number 1 comes to kingdom okay and this is the and this is the most largest largest and 
most diverse diverse group okay so uh, after kingdom we have phylum or division we use phylum in term uh, when we are classifying animals and we use divisions when we are classifying plants clear then next comes to third one is the class okay and class contains orders orders contains families and families has genus genus has species okay so the species are the smallest group and most closely related most closely related group okay so whenever we talk about hierarchy it it is not like the uh, just if if i asked you to write the hierarchy in an ascending order so how will you start ascending order means the smallest one should be the first species good number of species forms a group that is genus number of genus forms a, a group that is called families and a number of families comes together to form orders and number of orders come together to form class and then same as phylum or division and the whole thing whole phylum different phylums come together to form a kingdom okay we'll get this in detail in the next coming videos okay so if i ask you to write in a uh, descending order then you will write it down like you will write it down like kingdom to phylum division and then to the class then to the order then to the family genus and species okay so just whenever someone is asking you to uh, you know write down or uh, um, tell the uh, hierarchy in a form that is ascending or descending form so always remember in ascending you have to write the smallest one first that is species you have to start from the species and if somebody is asking you to write it in a descending form then you have to write it from ki uh, kingdom okay and kingdom is the largest and the most diverse group like plant kingdom like animal kingdom like monera fungi okay so these are some kingdoms which has further phylums divisions classes orders families genus species okay so till now i guess these three points are clear that is taxonomy systematic and taxonomic categories clear in the next video we are going to discuss the taxonomical hierarchy in a detailed manner means uh, what is the kingdom in detail there is a phylum in detail division in detail class in detail orders families genus species we are going to take up every single level in discussion okay so till then stay safe and watch the video again and again and share it like it and obviously subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt please drop that uh, drop it in the comment box thank you